it's Karen. I hope you're having a wonderful evening. I am, because I have my Ipsy bag. I'm really excited. It is February 13th, the day before Valentine's Day, so I feel like it's a little present for me. Ipsy, of course, is a monthly beauty. Oh, don't walk on loud things. Ipsy is a monthly beauty subscription service. They say they send four to five samples, deluxe to full size. And I find they always send five deluxe to full size samples. I never really get any foil packets. They're always fabulous and lots of larger sizes. They also usually have discount codes for the brands featured in their monthly bags. Ooh, and it's pink this month for Valentine's Day, I am sure. And their theme is the look of love. Very, very cute. The bag actually feels pretty nice. It's very canvassy. It seems like it would hold up well. Packed with stuff. The first thing in here is a Numi hair mask. So this should be kind of fun to use. Numi is an incredibly expensive brand, so I don't know if I'd be able to repurchase it, but they usually send out really, really, really good deals. Like in here they have a hair dryer and straightener combo, or maybe it's a curling iron, I can't even tell for 80% off. So they, if you keep an eye out, you can get really good discounts on their stuff. Definitely excited to try the hair mask because my hair is like all wacky and out of control. Although the agave oil from my birch box is doing wonderful things. Really excited about that. So this is kind of neat. This is a full-sized blush. It's B Matte Blush. The color is Fresh Melon. And of course I snuck into my bag and I'm wearing everything. That's why I look a little bit mismatched. But uh, it's so pigmented. It is crazy. Totally crazy town. It's also really hard to open and I just painted my nails. So here is the inside. It is a touch dusty because I just put it on with a brush, but oh, I wish you could see that better. The lighting is like washing it out, but it is just so bright. As soon as I dipped the brush in it, I knew I was in trouble. I like my blushes really sheer. And I really had to work at it to get the color down. If you love a good pigmented product that's gonna last a long time, this is actually pretty cool. And I think this is like a $3 blush. No idea where you buy it, but that is a really, really good deal. The next item I am freaking madly in love with already. It is by iTeeny, which is presumably a friend of Nail Teeny. It has, of course, the little martini glass on the top. This is a shadow tint in the color Spiced Rum, so it's practically got my name written all over it already. And I did pop it on over already brown shadow, so it might be making it look a little more intense on my eyes, but I just love the sheen that it gives. I was really impressed with it. Just, it's so glowy and pretty. I can't wait to wear it tomorrow to work and see how long it kind of goes without creasing and whatnot. Dude. Dude. It's so rich, look at that, that is insane. I love it, just, it glows. Will you stop walking on crinkly things? Every video, you find the crinkliest thing and you walk all over it. The next item in here is something that we have seen before as far as brand, it is Pop Beauty. And it's just a lip gloss in the color Peony Petal. I think it's a pretty color. It has a very funky smell. Um, it's like an intentional smell, like they put it in there. I just don't think I'm a particular fan of it, but it does go away after you're wearing it for like th three minutes. You just stop smelling it. Just, it seems so odd to me. I almost wonder if it has a flavor, but I don't really want to lick my lips because it's got, you know, a weird scent. But yeah, that is incredibly pretty. I really like the color. And the last, but obviously like one of the most glorious products, is another full-sized Zoya. That's something I do love about Ipsy. Sometimes their brands are a little bit on the cheap side. Some of them, you know, I'm just not that big of a fan of, but I love Zoya and they send out full-size bottles of it kind of a lot. So that's exciting to me. Usually their colors are fantastic too that they choose. And this month is no exception. I got the one that I was hoping for the purpley one in Odette. And I am, of course, wearing it. I just slapped it on so it's not cleaned up at all. But isn't that gorgeous? And it's just, it's perfectly in time for Valentine's Day. I'm excited, love it, it's so cute. I could just sit here and stare at my nails for a while, but I should probably move on. That is, however, it. I do wanna show you the bag's best feature that I didn't discover until just about now is it's got 
hot pink leopard print on the inside. As a cat lady, I always appreciate cat prints. And just a quick recap, I got all of these wonderful things. It is very much a full-faced bag kind of month from Ipsy with the lipstick, the eye color, and the blush. And I also received a hair mask and nail color. Really, if you just got this subscription box, you would be set for a really long time on just those products if you had like no other makeup. It's fantastic. I really love Ipsy. I almost canceled them for this month. I'm so glad I didn't, but it's start of a new year and I'm budgeting and I'm like three makeup boxes that's ridiculous and it is but I'm still glad I didn't cancel it well did you get your ipsy bag let me know what you got and what you thought of it there are a ton of brands involved this month I absolutely love it there were some really interesting looking things out there skin Iceland is a brand that I really like I'd love to see what people think of that and Jessie's Girl, I've heard wonderful things about, and I love Pacifica. So I think there are a lot of really great, great bags out there for people this month. As always, I thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful Valentine's Day and a beautiful night. Bye.